Hey guys, it's Jamie here and in this tutorial we're going to do the inside cover and probably create some big pockets for the inside. One of my favourite closures to do is just a simple ribbon. I've marked the halfway point on the inside cover. I shall use my all-purpose glue, put a small bit down, add the ribbon, got some masking tape. Next I have my inside cover which is also one of the wood papers. Once we put this on top, we have three things to hold that ribbon in place. The glue, the masking tape, and then the cover. We're going to line that up best you can. Unfold it along those edges in particular. Just like with the front cover, you can put a big weight on that as well. Then you repeat for the back cover. Here's the inside cover of the journal completed with the ribbons attached. Now I'm going to use an off cut from this paper to make a pocket. I'm also using our gratitude add-on for this kit to put the gratitude jar on the cover of that pocket, even though the pocket will be side loading. So you could write down your gratitudes at the very beginning of the journal and maybe even slip something inside that pocket. First thing I want to do is take a notch out of the pocket out halfway just so that it's obvious to the eye that it's a pocket that's not essential. So the pocket will hold more. I'm probably going to add some hinging to the back of the pocket. That is simply a piece of paper folded in half with the fold external facing. This will give your pocket more depth. Line it along the bottom. I have bits for the side as well. Same thing, fold to the outside. I'm going to glue this top hinge to these hinges at the side. Before I attach that pocket to the cover, I'll put the jar on and maybe I have some flowers I can fussy cut to decorate that a little bit more. I've got these flowers here in a love heart shape. So you can either go large or the smaller one. I have the word gratitude jar. Put it slightly over so that love heart catches the bottom of the jar and the word. Glue along those hinges. I'm wondering if we should line up the centre of that with the centre of that, probably. I will possibly put a weight on that as it dries. For the back inside cover, similar thing, off cut here, but instead of doing a hinged pocket, we'll do a tuck spot of sorts. And to do that, the first thing I want to do is cut a bit of that top corner. I'm going to take more off, do that more at an angle. Have this off cut and I'm going to add this to this background. And that makes quite a decent tuck spot for there. See if that will fit in there. Yeah, so this is something my daughter gave me. It's just a postcard so I can put that one in the back. We have a postcard that's actually from the kit. What I will do is back that onto cardstock, make it a bit stronger. The postcard has now been backed with cream card and I've edged it with the Memento Toffee Crunch because sometimes I get a little bit bored with vintage photo. That will now go into this front pocket. That is our cover completely done now. Inside and outside, that's good to go. In the next tutorial, we're gonna be selecting papers, creating the signature, and starting some decorating ideas.